Hi, everybody. My name is from Kessler Insurance, and I am here today on behalf of Cheers for Charity New Hampshire, and I have the privilege of dear friend, Ms. Joanne Burchock. Hey, Joanne. Hi, Lisa. Yes, I'm Joanne Burchock with Lighthouse Physical Therapy, and we have another great session for Cheers for Charity, so we're very happy to welcome uh, Nell Ann with us today from the Portsmouth Rotary. So welcome, Nell Ann, and please introduce yourself, your role, and tell us a little bit about the Rotary. I'm Nell Ann Hyatt. I am currently the president of actually it's Seacoast Rotary. So um, Portsmouth has two clubs. One is Seacoast, which meets in the morning, and the other is lunchtime club. So I just want to make that um, clear. A lot of people do confuse the two clubs. So uh, we meet on Thursday mornings at Cafe Espresso on Islington Street in Portsmouth, and the meeting starts at 7.30. And um, you, anyone's always welcome to come and visit. You don't have to tell anybody you're coming, just show up. And there we go. That's general introduction of our club. We're about 35 people strong. We're, we're not your father's Rotary Club, I like to say. We, um, sometimes people have a very unfavorable view of Rotary. They think it's a whole bunch of you know, 90 year old men who sit around not doing anything and that's not the way it is. We're actually relatively young. And, you know, I say that because I'm not 90. <laughs> um, and we do lots of great things for the local area, you know, um, including our latest- vacation then, Nalan. So mm -hmm. uh, is, are they completely separate, the, the morning versus the afternoon um, or lunchtime one? Yes. And you guys run your, okay. So great. Okay. That's, that's, that's a great distinction. So um, I know you guys do a lot of community stuff. Um, it, tell us more about what your, your particular group focuses on. Well, recently, uh, a week ago, we gave away two $2,500 scholarships to Portsmouth High School students who are going on to trade school. Both of these young men are going to uh, Manchester Community College and are gonna be in their welding program. They came out of the welding program at Portsmouth High School. And we, these scholarships we particularly give out, we are trying to focus on the trades. So these, uh, one was a young man from last year. He received $2,500 from us last year. Then he proves to us he was successful in school and he's re-enrolled and we gave him another 2,500 this year. So we have a rolling kind of scholarship where somebody gets 2,500 last year and then another 25 this year. And we had a new recipient this year who got his first $2,500 check and then we'll get a second one um, next year. And um, it's fun, we have a great time. We get to interview all kinds of kids and um, it's just neat to be in high school and to be picking, um, you know, to talk to neat people, it's hard to make these decisions because they're all such nice kids. And um, so we do things like that. We also host a thousand dollar prize for their Shark Tank over at Portsmouth High School. They have a Shark Tank competition and we award a thousand dollar prize. Sometimes we get to be the judges. Um, so anyway, so in, in part of how we raise our money is our big thing is our turkey trot. We, we run the Portsmouth, our club runs the turkey trot that happens on Thanksgiving Day in downtown Portsmouth. A lot of people know about that race. We have over 2,000 runners that, uh, who come and participate. Obviously during COVID, we had a couple of um, smaller years, but last year we were right back up to a, a really great race and it's, it's quite a big race, 2,000 runners and all of that money. And we have sponsors too. So we have sponsors that we go out to the community and ask for them to sponsor our race and all of that money. Um, we do pay our expenses, obviously, but all that money after that goes back to different uh, charities in the area. We're giving out what we call 11 allocations on September 1st to various small nonprofits who do know that they're getting these now. Um, but we, I know Patty won't mind me mentioning Seacoast Family Promise is getting uh, a small allocation. When I say small, I mean, some are getting they don't go below $750 and the maximum is about $2,500. We're giving away 11 of those to different groups that are in the area. So we'll have 11 uh, 501c3s that everyone would know the names of these uh, people who are going to come on September 1st to get the different checks, which is all part of that money we raise uh, from the turkey trot. That's our, that's our big fundraiser. Uh, we're also going to be doing a shredding event uh, next spring, which will be new, which is something that I'm hoping we can get off the ground. And that money, I'm sure we'll spend most of it back on the community. We've given to 
you name it, hero pups, we've given to women aid, we've given to all kinds of um, wonderful programs, they apply and, and we give out awards. Yeah, every, uh, our whole club does run the turkey trot. That, that's kind of a, a command performance for our club. It's actually quick though. When, you know, we get there, you know, 5.30 in the morning on Thanksgiving day and we're done by 10 o'clock in the morning, it goes that quickly. And because there's plenty still... of time to eat turkey. <laughs> exactly. So, I mean, we always say that to new members. We're like, listen, don't worry about it. You'll be home in time. And, you know, it might be a nice break, you know, leave someone at home setting everything up. And then by the time you get home, everything's ready. Right. And so usually I'm home by 1030. And, um, you know, it's, it's we're such a well-oiled machine now that it's, you know, bingo, bango, everything's done. Everything's cleaned up. Uh, police department's happy with us city's happy with us so but it's a it's a big event if um anyone sees this and is interested you know, it'll be happening this year so turkey trot downtown portsmouth that's us great well you guys do so much to give back to the local community um so somebody you know was looking to get involved you mentioned your meetings that you have um is that a weekly meeting and you said that was at cafe espresso in portsmouth it is it is a weekly meeting you know, Ports, uh, we're not, we're a, a less formal club. Uh, we aren't sticklers for, uh, you know, we, we'd like to have attendance, but we're not going to be chasing you down if you join the club and, and for some reason you can't come. Like we do have people who go away for six months, literally they go to Florida and, you know, we just, hey, come on back when you're when you're back in town and, you know, we're not going to be chasing people down and, and everyone does. Everyone likes how easygoing we are. And, you know, we have other volunteer opportunities you can always participate in. Like we clean the Richard McFarland Center in the fall for them. And we do other small community service projects. So I always encourage people, if you can't make a meeting, you'll get notification about doing other service projects. Come on down. You know, that's a great way to, to contribute. Um, so, you know, there are other ways aside from attendance that people can contribute. But attendance is great. You do get to know people. You get to know people pretty well. And I always tell people, you know, joining Rotary isn't really about getting business. It's about community service. However, I do see that people do business together because they get to know one another. And I think that's all about a networking group, right? <laughs> no like trust prefer and Absolutely. in, in yeah. a way it becomes one because they become your very good friends and you choose them if they're in that profession oftentimes you choose them because you know them so well Absolutely. It's it's a great way to make connections and, and to get more involved in the community. And it sounds like you guys offer a lot of opportunities for, um, you know, providing great services with, with within the community. That's fantastic. Um, we have great speakers every week. This week, we um, actually met at the fire department in Portsmouth on Lafayette Road today, and we had a falconer come in. And so she had her falcons in the room with us. It was really cool. I mean, she had other birds too. She had an owl. They actually had four birds, which is really cool. Next week, we have a young woman who's coming from the, um, she's in the Coast Guard. She's in the Surfman program. Which she does, uh, you know, uh, rough, I wouldn't even say rough, large surf rescues. So she's coming to give us a presentation about being a woman in the Coast Guard, especially in this program. There have only been 15 women who qualified as surfmen in the Coast Guard and she's uh, in that. So she's gonna be our pres presenter next week. So we, we try to make it interesting so people come and learn about what's going on in the community. Um, so that's another plus, you know, you know about the traffic patterns. I actually knew what was going on because we had the head of the DPW to give us an update on the plan for the city. So we need things like that, so. Yeah. yeah. Which is great. That was actually one of the questions I was going to ask you as far as the meetings. And it sounds like there's a, a lot of value there for coming and um, learning about more of that. If somebody were interested in, um, you know, participating, uh, learning more about the organization, what's, what's the best way for people to get in touch with you? Well, we have a website, which is seacoastrotary.org. And obviously they could reach out to us through there. Um, I mean, I... I'm always, you know, I don't know, can I give my email address now? Is that something I could let people know? It is, um, my name is Nell Ann, and my email address is J-A-M as in Mary, N as in Nancy, 
Hyatt, H-I-A-T-T, at Comcast.net. If they'd like to reach out to me, I'd be more than happy to do, uh, respond and, and, you know, help them get involved. I would like to encourage people, whether it's my Rotary Club, another Rotary Club, a Lions Club, a Kiwanis Club, all of these organi organizations, I know, I mean, they're not your grandfather father's organizations anymore they really aren't they do such wonderful wonderful things and what I think is great about them is the sense of community they foster and I would encourage people to look into any one of those organizations because um, I'm just happy when people tell me that they joined a club like this so I just think it's awesome so I really do so I, I hope if anyone's listening to this maybe you don't want Rotary look into Kiwanis look into the Lions because I they all do wonderful things they all do wonderful things Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us today and for all the good work that you do in our community. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it.